Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 1. In, in the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and we went through Casinopolis and Ice Cap Zone and in this episode we're going to head on over here because there's an old friend who's been wanting to see us. So uh, Sonic and Knuckles fight again for the first time since Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Must be a pretty epic fight, right? Chaos 4, with four emeralds controlling him, or er, with the power of four emeralds, he is an incredibly annoying boss fight. This part is just kind of waiting around for him to pop up, and you have to hit him like four or five times depending on whose story you're playing through. I don't even think that's something that I've mentioned yet, is that... You, know, you saw before when we first met Tails, after the cutscene where we were talking to him, it said you can now play as Tails. Each uh, Sonic character has a different perspective on the story, and depending on who you play through, you get to play through different levels, and you get different, like, like I just said, perspectives, and see a uh, slightly changed dialogue, because, you know, since there are so many people counting the story, you know, there's going to be people who remember things differently. But yeah, you'll have noticed during uh, that last cutscene there that Sonic was like, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again, and then Knuckles was like, me? What about you? Which is a really weird line. And the thing about that is, a lot of Sonic Adventure fans will tell you that this game and its sequel had really weird translation changes where it would just change things for no reason and it would make the story make le even less sense. Like in the Japanese version, Knuckles just told Sonic to shut up, which I think is much funnier and makes a lot more sense in context, but for some reason they just changed it and I don't know why. Also a thing to note is if the voice acting seems weird, that's because the English voice actors were giving were given directions by people who barely spoke English, so that's why.
Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier! But it pales in comparison to the power of chaos! Adieu! Until we meet again, my friends! <laughs> Shop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on. Let's get going. So I have a few things to mention. First of all, uh, I've always loved those cutscenes that are semi-realistic sorry sonic wait here for a second Anyways, back to what I was saying. I love those semi-realistic cutscenes that they played, like when they introduced the egg carrier. Those always just left an impression on me as a child because you're playing this game that's like got like semi like cartoony sort of graphics, and then you just get that when you're introducing something as menacing as the egg carrier. And I just thought that was super cool as a kid. I still think it's super cool now. I also love, uh, I love Eggman's current voice actor, Mike Pollock, but I also love his voice actor in the Sonic Adventure games as well. I think he does a really good job at being a villain, and I also love the way he pronounces stuff, like the Egg Carrier. Anyways, this stage, also if you get the lens for quite right, it'll destroy your eyes. <laughs> This stage, uh, and its sequel, Sub, uh, Submission Sky Chase Act 1, and Sky Chase Act 2, spoilers, we're gonna go through the sky again, are super tedious, like, on repeat playthroughs, uh, it's just kinda just not all that much, like when you're first playing through, like, the, this stage might be fun, because you're, you know, you're doing something new, and you're just trying to dodge all of these enemies while you're shooting them down. But on repeat playthroughs, it's kind of just waiting for two and a half minutes. Like, you just hold down B, wave the tornado, the tornado around. But yeah, you just wave the tornado around for a little bit, and you should be good. Unless you're me, who sucks whenever he tries to commentate. Okay, if I, if I actually die during this stage, then I will be thoroughly embarrassed. We should be at the end of it, though. Yep.
Tails? Tails? You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Crash landing all the way in Station Square, it's time to take off and start our search for Tails. So now Amy is an unlockable character. There are six total characters in this game, and we start off with Sonic of course, but we have so far unlocked Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. An interesting note that I have to mention is that for some reason there was an unused graphic for unlocking Sonic. It was like, you can now play as Sonic, which I thought was weird. Maybe it was like a planned thing where you play through a tutorial at the beginning and then you actually unlock Sonic's story. Or maybe it's a, it was a thing where it's like how in Super Mario 64 DS, how you start off as Yoshi and not Mario. Or in this game, you would have to play as Tails first and then you got to unlock Sonic. Either way, it's weird. Twinkle Park, Stage 5. So this one starts off a bit weird. You have to steal a, car, a bumper car from one of these guys, and it can sometimes be a bit weird and finicky. But now we're just driving down here, and I've never seen one of those enemies get that far down the thing before. But yeah, on the back of the bumper car you have your ring counter, I don't know why you'd need that, because you've already got your ring counter up in the top left corner. But yeah, now we're just making our way down the track, and so I'll just try to come up with things to think of. Uh, an interesting bit of trivia is that uh, originally... Sonic's running animation had a cool blurring effect to it in the Japanese version, but they got rid of it for some reason in the US version. I don't know, it's a... A lot of the changes to this game are super weird between the Japanese and US version, and also between the normal and DX versions. I've... I, I know at one point I've been going down that huge area where if you get enough speed you're just in the air for a bit. I know at some point I've accidentally gone off the edge. Also I love Sonic's woohoo like voice clip that plays whenever he goes on one of the ramps. And we're on a roller coaster now. So yeah, one thing about that 
is consistent with every Sonic game is that they have awesome music like that. Anyways, that bowling mini game we just played, it had a much better camera angle in the Japanese version, again with the differences between the Japanese and US versions. But yeah, that's all about all the trivia I have for now. Uh, so while we're making our way through here, I don't know how I ran into that. But now I've got a lot of like personal conversation topics and like stories and stuff like that that I want to talk about. And I've been saving them up for a while since like since I started making episodes for case three of Ace Attorney, I've been saving up these. So you know there's been like a ton of them saving up for a while. I've uh Here's another... Speaking of Case 3 of Ace Attorney, there's a ton of sniffing in that one for some reason. I don't know why. It's just like, every episode, you couldn't go an episode without at least someone sniffing. Usually Will Powers, but... Anyways, there's also... There's something you could do here where if you, if you spin dash at the right place or something like that, or if you do something at the right place... Yeah, like that. You can just completely skip over that. Uh, I'm not supposed to be here yet, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna jump down real quick. Where am I? I've never been up here like that before. I just knew there was like a skip you could do there. But anyways, the thing you're supposed to be doing here is... Whoop, I almost accidentally did that skip again. You're supposed to follow the rings. You could probably use the light speed dash, but ironically, that would take up a bit more time. Okay, so we're we were basically at the end anyway. You just have to bounce up there. But yeah, for the first time, we actually uh, jump on one of these little like animal containers, which were how acts usually ended during uh, during the Genesis Sonic games. This game got rid of a lot of classic Sonic stuff, like acts and stuff like that, and calling each place, like, a zone. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. And... By I better catch her before it does, it means Sonic's gonna go off and do a bunch of unrelated stuff. So this is Twinkle Circuit, which is basically like a fun little racing game. You just gotta go through, get as many rings as you can, and uh, because I think rings increase your speed. I guess that's why the counter is on the back of the bumper cars, just because. Just so you know how fast you're going. But yeah, I think holding forward also affects your speed as well. Like, if you're holding forward, you'll go faster. So, keep that in mind. It's a, lot, it's a lot easier to let go of A while you're turning, because that makes him turn a, a lot sharper. Whereas, when you're holding A, his turns are a lot more broad. Yeah, I am not going very fast at all. <laughs> and that's because I've actually never played through this before. Like, I've seen like one or two people play through it. I have never personally gone through this before. So apologies if I kind of suck at this. While I'm going through here, uh, I guess I'll just try to talk about stuff. Uh, I've been wanting to play Sonic Unleashed, but I don't want to play the PS2 or Wii versions, because I know that those suck. I want to play the actual like Xbox and 
PlayStation 3 ones, because I know those are the proper ones that people love. I would love, like, a Sonic Adventure remake, where the, like, graphics and uh, cutscenes are similar to that of Unleashed. Uh, but the gameplay is still kind of similar to how it is in these games, just like tweaked a bit more. Yeah, that's Twinkle Circuit. And I'll go ahead and quit for now. That's my best time. I know if I probably practiced at this for a while, I could get better at it. Uh, send me your guys' best time. Anyways, now that we're out here, instead of searching for Amy, we're just going to go mess around in the city for a bit. And actually, we're going to make Amy wait even longer because we're just going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and, you know, mess around and maybe actually go searching for Amy. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.